And there's Caitlin. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Justin. One of the coolest people on this trip, hands down. And here's Bobby. She's really down to earth. It was always a pleasure being around her and her amazing personality. <laughs> and here's Jonathan taking a swing at it. The sun was setting and the forest was now dark. We began to make our way out. But upon leaving, we stumbled across this ant pile. So we decided to stop to take a closer look at this colony. The locals are uh, concern about these ants when they have the uh, yucca or banana plantation because in one night they can cut the whole uh, whole crop, the whole plantation, like uh, two or three hectares in a night. Wow. Mm -hmm. They work day and night. Damn. All right. They live in big colonies, 15 or 20 millions and then in one colony. Yeah. Every single ant is carrying like a little piece of dirt, working hard. The nurse is in the ground like two meters down. Before leaving Iquitos, we stopped up the river to a local village to hang out with a few locals. Just taking in the sights around us showed us how blessed we are to live in America. Some things we just take for granted. Mm -hmm. To have air conditioning, to have floors. We will never be the same. We experienced so much. To only have electricity for a few hours at night because everything runs off of one generator. Not being able to drink the tap water because of sanitation issues. We as Americans are very blessed. Peru welcomed our group with open arms. Now it was time for us to show our respect. A good game of sport always brings everyone together. It was now time to play the real football.